are we recording and yes we're on what's popping y'all welcome back to my channel it's your girl tasia so we're gonna go from this to this yes so i'm gonna um show you guys how we got there eyebrows already done if you want an in-depth eyebrow tutorial let me know down below in the comments and i will go over that first we're gonna you know take the you know fenty beauty um bronzing i like to use this and just bronze up my eyes and i like to take it all the way up to my eyebrows to make sure everything is all blended and we're gonna go into that juvia's paste juvia's place palette and use the orange i wanted to uh, make sure my crease was nice and deepened up enough how i wanted it to be and yeah so we're just gonna go ahead and stamp on that color with the morphe brush and then go ahead and blend it out with a different morphe brush i didn't add any extra extra color to the brush i just blended it out how what was already on my eye and literally just like blended from there to just give me that gradient look and go into that same Juvia's Place palette. Now I'm gonna take that brown and just kind of feel where my actual eyeball and like my crease is to deepen up my legit crease area, not the whole eyelid almost in a sense. Well, not even lid, the whole crease kind of just, you know, y'all know what I mean. Just get more in depth in there, make sure that it's more defined. And then we're gonna take another more pointed blending brush and blend that out. And honestly, I feel like with adding the bronzer on top before like first before doing any of this just helps create that like gradient look that I want and helps like highlight that brow bone area. So we're going to go into that same brown and just deepen up the side of my crease go over the side a little bit um, that I just did on the actual crease area but on the side of it itself and just you know y'all see this little angle I'm doing here to make sure that that the ends of my eyes are just deeper and kind of just make sure the color looks more saturated there for sure and then I just took a black, any kind of matte black would work, just to deepen that area. And then I went back into the orange that I showed you guys before, stamped that on, and then realized I need a new brush, different brush. And the same, same brush I used before to blend it out on my crease, and I'm just gonna blend out on my eyes. And ooh, I forgot to show you guys, I'm so sorry, but I went into the same Juvia's Place palette. It's like the middle, like, chromey looking goldy white color and I use that to put on the inner crease not inner crease the inner lid sorry and we're gonna go back into that orange again and just make sure that everything is blended and seamless so that the shimmer and the matte orange actually goes and blends together so that there's not any kind of weird line or anything like that on my eye and i'm sorry if i sound all tired you guys it's like late it's 12 30 at night and i've been working all day editing all day and a bitch is tired but literally all i did right here was just go back into those same colors and re-blended make sure everything is blended Ooh. Make sure the lace is on point, you know. Can't have that lace poking out through on the camera. Oh, and just to let you guys know, I was filming a YouTube, not YouTube, this is YouTube. I was filming an Instagram video, so that's why I do all these little, like, extra face movements and stuff like that. I kind of cut most of that out, but, um, yeah, this video was mostly intended for Instagram. And then I wanted an actual in-depth longer version for you guys for YouTube. So, yeah. Sorry, I forgot to mention I used the Hourglass Foundation. Love, 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 love. And I'm using this Sonia, um, I don't know how to say her name, but Sonia Kachut sponge. Now we're using our Too Faced concealer. I'm not sure if anybody cares. Let me know in the comments below if you want me to actually put my colors versus just the products itself. If you ever want a color match for me. I know my foundation is a smidget darker than my skin tone, but um, I refuse to 
get a winter shade. I'm just gonna, we're just, I'm, I'm just trying to look tan all winter long. Who cares? I'll be wearing turtlenecks anyways. But girl, do y'all see how light my hand is in comparison to my face? I need a tan so bad. But yeah, we're just going to take the concealer, put it all in the same normal places like normal. I only like to put it under my eyes and in my um, T-zone. I don't really like to put it over my lip or on my um, outer cheekbones because my lips sweat too much and I don't want to look too chiseled on the side. I feel like it like, makes me look too masculine. Then I love to take this NYX Can't Stop Won't Stop concealer and I just use it in the areas where I feel like I'm the darkest and where I have like a little bag under my eyes so I feel like it just helps enhance that area and keep it looking light. And the Huda Beauty Powder, Huda Booty. I really love this powder you guys. I didn't think that I was going to like it as much as I do but I really like it and a lot a lot comes in the packaging like that powder is going to last you for a while so the price you're paying is actually worth it because it comes with a lot of powder and the powder is really good like yeah it for some people it's drying and for me personally it, it is drying like looking at me on camera now as i'm film like editing this and doing the voiceover i don't feel like i look dry but in person i do feel a little dry so i make sure i spray a lot of setting spray afterwards but um Oh my gosh, I need to bleach my scalp more. Like, look at that. You can just see them dots. Anyways, I just like to make sure that I put a lot of powder in my um, smile lines because creases are real. And I be smiling and talking a lot. So I need to make sure that that area is good to go. And if anybody is like me, my upper lip be sweating like I have to put a minimal amount of actual liquid makeup there and only powder because I will be just sweating it all off so we're gonna go back into the Fenty Beauty I, th I think it was Beijing Gal is the color we're using here now and I like to stamp my contour on or like bronzer and then blend it out to make sure that it looks like blended on my face and not like a line on my face now we're going to take the elf palette blush and i use the bottom two colors sorry i didn't show the colors on film but i just mix the bottom two together and i love my blush to be compact on my cheeks and then blended all the way up to my my cheekbone like an extension of my contour like just to make sure that everything is all blended in and don't forget you guys make sure to put that blush on your nose and your forehead like just do it just make sure you do it so I went into the same um, beige and gal color for my nose contour so we're gonna go ahead and chisel that nose in and I just like stamp it on like, you know in a line and then I go into the very small circles to make sure that everything is blended so that there is no harsh lines on my face I probably didn't show it on camera but I probably used my foundation brush and blended it out a little bit Juvia's place for the highlight and then NYX for the extra pop for the inner highlight for the inner corners and the nose and then we just use that Juvia's place Nefertiti highlight for the cheeks that highlight you guys you definitely have to use it sparingly because it is a loose powder highlight and it will get everywhere like <sighs> take caution for sure take caution and here's my man he just decided to just you know walk on into the frame and mind you like i said you guys i was filming an instagram video when i was doing this so i really needed him to get out of the way and i was like i need you to move <laughs> I meant to keep the audio for that but it got deleted i was telling him that he didn't have to leave the room he just needed to move out the frame because he left all the way but there we are you guys saw that like initial little dot highlight of how like pigmented the highlight is and then like blend that out baby girl then we're gonna take that you know um nikita dragon dragon beauty 
highlight them under eyes because I just love a highlighted under eye like I just love it brighten like anything that's gonna brighten my under eye is just for me I'm very self-conscious and sensitive about these eye bags I have and it's just in my jeans so anything that will make it look like it's not there I'm all for And for one of the final steps I like to do, I like to use this, <laughs> the moment I realized that my hand is hella lighter than my face. But anyways, I like to use this e.l.f. It's like a tinting brow gel and it's like a dark brown. I like to use that to make sure that all the powder, excess powder is off my eyebrows and kind of just like shape them and just, I just love what it does. It just like gives me that extra enhanced gradient look to my eyebrows that I just love it I that's just a thing I have to do and then for the lips I just use like a burgundy lipstick morphe setting spray use a fan make sure your face is all dry and we're all good all done thank you guys so much for being here and love you guys see you next time bye Mwah.